Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your uh, your SPDT switch, Greyhill switch. It looks something like this. You'll need a couple things. You'll need the uh, IC socket 14 pin. Looks like this. You need resistors, jumper cable, wire stripper, and a bunch of other stuff that you see in the video here, which we may or may not be using it. Okay, so first thing first, uh, looking at the switch, you'll notice that it's got uh, uh, about nine pins and there's about one, two, three, four, four toggles. We're going to name the first one with the number one on it, switch A, switch B, switch C, and switch D. Okay. Uh, there's some writings on this switch here where it says common one, common two, common three, common four. Those are indicating that uh, those pins are connected to ground or common. So these are these pins here. I mean, I can show you here. So this pin right here is connected to ground. This pin here is connected to ground. This pin here is connected to ground, as well as this one here. The rest of the pins are uh, are not connected to ground. Uh, they're connected to a VCC and what we're going to do is we're going to connect uh, this we're, don't, we're not going to directly connect it to VCC we're going to use a resistor and then connect the resistor one end of the resistor to positive whatever VCC that you're using we're going to connect it to VCC on one end and then the other end would be connected mm -hmm. to the uh, to this pen or whichever switch that we're looking at switch A switch B whichever so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, gently uh, place the pins of the switch onto the the 14 pin socket, IC socket. We're going to gently do that without breaking any of the pins. Once we're comfortable that the pins are in and we can push it down. But before we push it down, you'll notice that the middle pin there is no there is nothing in the middle pin, so this here is nothing, meaning nothing is connected to it. So make sure that you are aware of that. That these two are nothing is connected. So if I count one, two, three, four, fourth one is not connected. One, two, three, four, fourth one is not connected to anything. You see, only these pins are connected to this socket. So I'm going to go ahead and gently push it down. And now I'm going to place this on my breadboard. So here's my breadboard. I've already set up my LM7805. If you don't know how to set this up, uh, you can check out the check out uh, video I made on how to set up the LM7805 LM7 voltage regulator. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place this switch, this pin that's here, this one. We're going to place it in row 15, uh, column F. Okay, so you want to place it like this across this valley here. You cannot place it like this. This is wrong. If you place it like this, this is wrong because you're shorting it. You want to place it uh, across this valley here. And once you've placed it, you push it in and make sure that it's in. So now it's secure. If you don't use the socket and you just place it directly onto the breadboard, there is a chance that the leads are not, uh, they're not uh, touching the metal inside the um, breadboard so use the uh, the 14 pin socket to connect your to place your switch on it so this way you can place it on your uh, you can put it on your breadboard okay all right now that i've done this now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the ground pins or the ground um the c1 c2 c3 and c4 and i've already mentioned that c1 and c2 and c4 are the middle pins here, right? In this case here. So if we're looking at the very first one is connected to row 15. So row 16 is gonna be ground. Row 20 is gonna be ground. Also for column E, row 16 is gonna be ground and row 20 is gonna be ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a jumper wire and I'm going to connect the row 16 to ground okay you can tell row 16 is connected to ground and i'm going to do the same thing for row 20 connect it to ground 
I'm gonna flip my uh, breadboard here. I want to connect row 16 to ground. Row 16. Let me go ahead and find that. Row 16 to ground. Okay. And then one more, which is row 20, is gonna be connected to ground. Okay, so once I've done that, I know that I have successfully uh, placed all my jumper wire and my commons are all connected to uh, ground. Uh, so that's good. You'll notice that my negative rail for this one is not connected. We'll connect that later. Um, actually, I can connect it right now. Let me just get a piece of wire here. So I'm using a wire stripper to unstrip the wire. So you want to make sure that uh, when you're stripping your wires, it's long enough so that you're making connection to the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this side to this side here. Actually, I can make it shorter, but you know what, for the time, to save because of the video, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Okay. So now I have my negative rail. I have my positive rail. I'm going to do the same thing for my uh, positive but instead I'm going to do it on this side here. Okay. All right. Some people, they don't like to use both rails at the same time. So they just keep one side negative and the one side positive. But in this case, since I'm just demonstrating, I'm just going to connect, uh, both rails okay all right so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our resistors so these resistors are going to be placed in um, pretty much on every single row with the exception of row number 18 which is the middle pin pin number four which i said that pin number four is not connected to anything so i'm going to go ahead and place this and row number 15 but the other end is going to be placed it's going to be connected to the positive you see how it's connected so this one is connected to so one row one of them is one end of the resistor is connected to the switch and then the other is connected to the positive so i'm going to repeat this although like i'm not cutting my resistors you can cut them and make it nice but I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to keep it long. So the next one is row number 17. It's going to be connected to... Uh, one end is going to be connected to positive and the other end is going to be connected to... Hmm, row number 17. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. For switch numbers, for switch C. And I'm going to do the same thing for switch D. Okay. Let me just put this in this. Okay, it looks great. All right, so now that I have connected all my resistors, Okay, now we're going to connect the other side to our positive. So pretty much we're going to repeat what we did for that one. And then we're going to connect this one to positive. You got to be very careful that you're not plugging it into the negative. And then this one gets connected to this, this row. And the very last one, which is a small resistor that I have here, is going to be connected here. Okay. 
Okay. All right, looks like all the resistors are connected. So this is switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if this is actually um, working. So I'm going to grab my 9 volt battery clip and I'm going to clip it on this. I can do a couple things. I can open the binding post, post and then just feed this through this and then lock it up. That's one thing. And then I can do the same thing for the positive. Okay. Okay. All right. So it looks like my circuit is connected. But I want to make sure that uh, the circuit is working, that everything is connected properly, right? So I'm going to go ahead and turn this to voltage. Make sure that this is connected to common. This one is connected to voltage. And I'm going to test to see if I'm actually getting 5 volts. Okay, so it looks like that I'm not getting 5 volts. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my 9 volt to see if I'm getting 9 volts. And looks like my 9 volt battery is not 9 volts anymore it's 1.036 so I'll probably need a new 9 volt battery okay let's check this so yeah so it's got about 1.5 volts uh, looks like I need a new battery <laughs> 